You can't play table games at the new Maryland Live Casino, but just getting in is turning out to be a roll of the dice. One night after thousands were turned away, the second night is turning out to be much the same. Shamari Stone in Anne Arundel County now. Well, Jim, let me tell you, there are a lot of people lined up here outside Maryland Live. These folks tell me they have waited at least an hour just to get to the front of the line. They're smiling as though it's Black Friday. Take a quick walk with me, Jim, and folks watching this. Let's go through this door, and you can see that there are a lot of folks in here. It's not as packed as it was last night, but there are a lot of people coming in here, and they tell me that their maximum goal is to come here and win hundreds of thousands. Well, some folks, hopefully, dollars. <laughs> This man won $4,000, triple sevens on the $25 slot machine. How does that make you feel? Pretty good. Pretty good. It's the second big night at Maryland Live, and thousands wait in line to gamble on the 3,200 slots and on electronic table games. This is the state's largest casino. You have the winners. It is so exciting. The losers. How much have you lost? 200. And some folks who live nearby, frustrated with the casino's traffic near Arundel Mills Mall. Mary lives around the corner in these apartments. I just don't want it to take twice as long just to get places at night. More than 10,000 waited in line for the grand opening, and casino officials are expecting big numbers tonight. This woman says the traffic is worth the economic impact. I recognize how it can generate jobs and how it can also um, do a lot for the whole area. Maryland Live officials expect the casino to boost the local economy, generating $60 million in annual spending on goods and services. <laughs> Businesses like this nail salon across the street expect to cash in on the added foot traffic. I would hope it would bring more people to the, our business. 1,500 people will work here. Casino officials told me the state has hit the jackpot, receiving an estimated $400 million in tax revenue to support local schools. The state is statutorily required to, to move the money into the local school system. Excellent! Number one casino. Now you can see that guy is obviously happy along with a lot of folks here. Now just to let you know that this place is also open on the weekends. That might be a really good time to come here. You can come early in the morning and who knows, maybe you'll walk out as the winner. Live here in Hanover, I'm Shamari Stone, News 4.